Okay, so look, we're here. This is this is one of my favorite places to run in Flagstaff, Arizona. Today's an easy day. That means I just get out here, run nice and slow, run nice and easy. The only goal is to make sure that my body's recovered for the next harder day. I wish it was that simple, but things like yoga, foam rolling, self-massage, that's what we're gonna talk through today so that you know how to nail an easy day and if you can nail that easy day, well, you're gonna be better prepared for the next harder steady day or specific day. If you're overworking your easy days, you're not preparing your body for the next harder day, which the harder days is what gets you the big results. The harder days move the specific fitness forward to get you that next big result, that big goal that you have, that's how you achieve it. But if you fuck up the easy day, and you're too tired on the specific day or the steady day, well, it doesn't work. So the easy day is probably the most important part of all this, that you get to that next specific day or steady day in a position, well rested, well recovered, to be able to train in a way that you'll absorb all the training on the specific days and the steady day. So don't fuck the easy day up. We're gonna go through today why it's important, what you can do, what you can do around the easy day in terms of should you cross train, what sort of heart rate should you be running at, what sort of volume. How do you get yourself best prepared for that next specific day so that you can fucking nail that and get those big results you want, get those big personal bests you want. I love this place, I'm not telling you where it is because, well, I'm in Flagstaff, Arizona, but I'm not telling you this run because then it won't be how I like it. I like that I will not see a single person out here. Just me, I'm gonna put the headphones on, listen to some relaxing music, and just enjoy a nice and easy run. If I tell everybody where it is, it'll get really busy. So I'm not gonna do that, but I bet some people watching will be able to guess. We also did a poll on keep or shave the beard, keep one by a million miles. So if you check out the speed video, you can vote on keep or shave the beard but I should go run before the next bloody train comes because then you won't be able to hear me. But enjoy the video, let's get into it. Okay, so why the steady run's important is because this is gonna help support everything you're doing. If you're constantly putting the aerobic system under stress, constantly putting the psychology under stress, and you're constantly trying to get better and better every day, you just get tired. There's, there's such a thing as basically getting tired before you get fit, right? And so to get fit and to build a big race result, it takes time. 10 weeks for some, 16 weeks for others. If you're very new to running, well, you should be in it for the long haul. This is gonna take a long time. If you're putting too much pressure on the psychology and too much pressure on the aerobic system and the central nervous system, you're just gonna get tired. That means that you're not absorbing the training you're doing, and it's almost wasted. So don't do that. So why it's so important is that, first of all, you want to develop your fat oxidation. You also want to develop that low end aerobic system. And so there's also fitness benefits and performance benefits to be gained from that easy day. I stress highly how important specific training is, how important steady running is, but I haven't really spoke about the easy days that just holds all that together. And that's what today's all about. So the why is because it's gonna pull everything together. It's gonna to make sure that you can get, continue to get better over a long period of time, rather than hitting these plateau stages because you get tired before you get your absolute fittest. That's why. Next, we're gonna cover what you should do. Okay, so what you should do on an easy day, well, that's gonna be dictated by do you try to run a certain amount of minutes per week, miles per week, kilometers per week? Where are you on your running journey? I'm not gloating. My fitness is at a good enough place that I can go run easy, keep that heart rate below perhaps 135. My maximum heart rate is 188. As you can tell, that's pretty good not gloating, but pretty good that I can still go run and keep that heart rate 58 beats or 50 beats, whatever it is, below that max. Why I tell you that is because if you're new to running, 
you might want to consider cross training, doing some form of exercise like cycling, rowing, elliptical machine, swimming, to name but a few. That's going to help you not only stay healthy, but it's also going to help you keep that heart rate down so that you're not overstressing the aerobic system. Today we want that heart rate to be right at the bottom, that zone one, not trying to push the aerobic system at all. And if you're new to running, well, it's gonna be difficult to do that. So do enough training that it works within your volume per week. Today I'm gonna to do two 12K runs. That's 24K, seven and a half mile, seven and a half mile. That brings my total weekly mileage to about 93, 94. That's what I do every week. So your volume or minutes will be dictated by how much you do. Your intensity, you're gonna to need to be smart with that. And if you can't run at a pace slow enough to get that heart rate really low into zone one, consider doing something different. Now let's talk about when this fits into your entire program. Okay, so when does all this fit in? Well, that depends on how many sessions per week you do, you know, how much volume you do, do you run every day, that sort of frequency. Frequency, number of runs is, how many runs per week do you do? How much volume per week do you do? How many days per week do you train? Look for variation. What I mean by variation is short days, long days, easy days, medium days, higher intensity days. Across your entire month, you should see a lovely rainbow of colors if each different day had a different color. Short day was red, long day was blue, easy day was gray, it doesn't matter. Look for variation. I read that the first time you do a 10 mile run, you get this big benefit. The next time you do it, the benefit's a bit less, so maybe then you do an 11 mile run. The same goes for constantly doing the same effort all week. Medium, 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 medium. When, sorry for shouting, <laughs> harder day, easy day. Medium day, back to harder day. That doesn't mean it has to be three days in a row, but that's the when in terms of how you'd plan it within your training and how much volume, frequency, how many days per week you train, etc. Look for that variation. And so now we've covered what we're doing, why we're doing it, when we do it. We're gonna take a little look into the how, but I'm gonna wrap it up a bit with some stuff that you can build around this easy day to help maximize the benefits of the easy day to get you ready for that next harder day. Look at this place. This is like, I don't know how you could do this at home, but I almost feel like a easy recovery run without pressure. It's, it's almost like a form of meditation, but just look at this place. I honestly haven't seen a single person <laughs> since I've been out here, but this easy run is really starting to take me quite a while, so let's continue the video. Ah, okay, I need to be fast. Battery's running dead. I'm at halfway in the run, 6K. I've literally carried the camera this whole way. You are very lucky. The high is, take it seriously execute it the right way. This is a easy recovery day. That means get off Strava for the day. Get off your training diary, get off all the noise. Just focus on full body recovery, meditation, yoga, journaling, self massage, hydration, nutrition. This is your day of the week where you're like, okay, Bob, let's get this back. Let's get this recovery back to a good place so that the next day I go out there to train again, I'm ready. Don't exhaust yourself looking over the intensive days, the medium days, your tempo days. Is your tempo faster? Today's not the day for that. Today's the day to just easy recovery, get rid of all the noise, the expectations, throw your fucking watch in the bin, who cares? Get out there, real nice, easy run or easy elliptical or easy bike, whatever you've got to do, take your recovery seriously. Good sleep, good hydration, try to nap, read a book, get off Strava. More 
psychology tips, recovery tips, nutrition tips on the website joggingroom.com. One other thing about that, if you've been following the channel, I'm trying to make the Olympics in Paris. I used to do review videos. I'm gonna add a free course to the school. So the school is the master class, the training plans, half marathon, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna add a kinda video log style school where those review videos can go because YouTube was just burying them because it's not what people wanted. There was no fancy video stuff, drone stuff, etc., etc. So you can go to the website if you were keen about that stuff and you enjoyed that kind of review process, how training's going, am I in a position to make the Olympics, am I progressing? I'm also gonna dissect sessions. Why did I run at this pace? What was the purpose? It's boring for most people, but I think it'll be really useful to help you learn how to execute your training better. So go to joggingroom.com. You can now sign up for this video log style review, but also that taking a deeper dive into sessions, why they were done a certain way, what was the purpose, what's it gonna help, how's it gonna prepare me for the next session, why did I run at certain heart rates, blah, 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 blah. Take your easy day seriously. If you like today's video, like, subscribe, comment below, watch some other videos, YouTube really likes that. But honestly, be nice to yourself, be kind to yourself. Running can suck at times. Start taking your easy day seriously. I'm gonna finish my run, and I hope today motivates you to take your sessions a bit easier on those recovery days. Take care, thanks for watching, all the best.